Hello! Welcome to Anime Mystics. I'm Roman, and tonight I am watching Doreku the Animation Episode 2. <clears throat> so last episode, we were introduced to the, uh, the device that causes people to control others. Basically making them your slave. Um, and also who I'm assuming are the two main characters. Uh, I am going to have to look up names on this one. Sorry. Oh, I think I spelled that wrong. There we go. Alright. Uh, yeah, they don't have pictures. That's great. Uh, anyway, I'm not even going to bother. <laughs> Basically, the way the device works is the two is two people have to be wearing it. All right, and it goes behind uh, your teeth. Um, and you challenge the other person to like a game or something. Like uh, in one instance, they were playing. Um, the pachinko machines <clears throat> and the person who got the most balls won um, so it could be like any kind of game I assume but uh, there has to be a clear winner and when that happens then the devices allow you to like control the other person it like sends a signal to the brain um, and enhances their, like, um, mm, obedience, basically. I don't know. It was They said something, com like, a little different, but it makes them more obedient. Um, so... <coughs> so we're introduced to the two main characters. Uh, the, there's a, one girl... I think her name uh, going by this pictureless uh, page. I'm assuming her name is Julia. But uh, she's talking with her friend who had just broken up with her boyfriend because he left her for another guy. Um, but I'm assuming that that wasn't the case. Well, I'm not assuming. He actually says that wasn't the case later on when he's talking to Julia alone. But... I had assumed it wasn't the case. <laughs> the guy didn't look like he was interested in other men. So, I don't know. Um, then again, I was just going off of looks, and that doesn't really say much of anything. So, ah, whatever. <laughs> it just seemed more like he was lying about it. Like, just to get out of the relationship. Uh, wouldn't be the first time somebody has done that. I had a friend once who told his uh, girlfriend he was gay just so she would leave him alone. She was very religious, so yeah. And all she did was bring him like pamphlets for her church. That <laughs> didn't exactly work. Um, but, you know. Anyway, uh, he's talking with Julia, explaining the device. Um, which is where we learn all about it. Um, before that, they're in, you know, they're in, like, a diner area where they're, her, her friend, him, I think his name is, uh, is he going by this, Ataru? I think it's Ataru. But, uh, him and his boyfriend. <laughs> um, and he challenges Julia to a game where if she gets it gets, you know, guesses the state of the relationship to the people on the table next to them guesses their relationship then he will explain everything about what was going on, you know, he'd tell the truth um and she basically comes up with the fact that they had just met for the first time, most likely through a dating website um, 
Which was pretty much true. And I bring this up because we see them again later on. In fact, they're the group that were playing Pachinko later on that I mentioned as an example for how, you know, a game that can be used to activate the devices. Um, they did meet through a dating website, and they were talking, and she seemed to like the guy, but then when they met, he came off much different. Uh, in fact, dude was just, I don't know, was like a horrible person. Um, <clears throat> because he raped her. So, I mean, yeah. Horrible person. Which is when she gets the devices, has him put one in his mouth, she puts one in hers, they play the pachinko, she ends up winning, and then is now made him her slave. And I do not feel sorry for the guy at all. <laughs> Whatever she has him do, he deserves. Um... Anyway, Julia and the main character, Ataru, I believe is what it is. Yeah, Ataru. Um, they decide to team up. He's given her a device. He's got one. Because he bought some before, I guess, the price went up. Because they're getting more popular now. So before the price went up, he bought a few of them. A couple of them. And he wants to form a partnership with her. Um, I am not exactly sure how it's supposed to work. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I think it's supposed to be if he does challenge somebody to a game and loses, she can come in, challenge them to a game, and then get him back so that he's not actually anybody's slave. And vice versa. If she challenges somebody and she loses, he can challenge them, win, and get her back. Or they both just become that person's slave. You know, there's that possibility as well. It could just completely backfire and not work at all. Um, anyway, this one's alright. I mean, I'm going to have to see if it picks up by episode 3. Uh, otherwise, this one might get dropped. Um, had kind of an interesting premise when I was reading it, but I don't know about how it's going to be animated, so... Anyway, let's get into this episode. Um, let's see. The video is going to be located over here. And the link to the reaction is going to be in the description down below. And we're going to start this episode in 3, 2, 1. 